comes to travel, there's one thing we can all agree on. It's really mm -hmm. become a major drag of late. Mm -hmm. It's a headache and new technology is in the works and it promises to shape the travel industry concepts that will speed up how we get from here to there. All right, as Fox 5's Dan Bowen shows us, getting there will one day be as fun as being there. of travel. It's not just about getting from point A to point B anymore. How we move around literally shapes the streets and the spaces that we inhabit. It's about reimagining how we interact with the world itself, a world where time and efficiency collide. We think that this new form of mobility really has that potential to fulfill that dream of kind of freedom and mobility. Technologies on the cusp of reality, our urban landscapes, the skies, and even our railways do for a transformation. Americans are not used to it, but we gotta get used. Some of it is already here. Boom Supersonics Overture Aircraft. Fly at mock speed over water. From Miami to London, under five hours. From New York to London, three and a half hours. Both American Airlines and United already bought planes for their fleets. How we get on planes is also changing, like the parallel reality board at Detroit Metropolitan Airport, using facial recognition to show travelers customized flights. At Carrasco Airport in Uruguay, Biometric face scanners allow passengers to keep their documents in their pockets. Or Middle Eastern carrier Emirates, who's unveiled a robot check-in assistant that matches customers' faces with scanned passports and guides them through the airport. And then there's this, electrical vertical takeoff and landing aircraft technology that could power electric air taxis all around the world. This is no science fiction. Federal regulators just gave one company the green light to take off. The flexibility of vertical takeoff and landing like a helicopter, but you have the efficiency of an airplane. Eric Allison is head of product for Joby Aviation. It will fly it up to 200 miles an hour to the destination skyport. Car will be waiting for you, take you to your final destination nation or if it's close enough you can just walk and still get there way way faster than you would sitting in traffic with hopes that one day the cost of taking one of these would be about the same as taking an uber black you probably won't have to think about it you'll be able to just get to where you want to go get there fast not be struck in traffic and it's all closer than you might think do you feel like we're living in a time when this outside the box thinking that we've had for a generation is closer to reality? We're gonna be able to break down the barriers that we have today. Dylan Jones is mobility lab director at Gensler, the largest architectural firm in the world. As architects and designers, you know, we appreciate looking further out, but then trying to bring it back and saying, okay, if this is gonna be real, how does it really happen? Making it happen right here in New York City. The company now designing a new Terminal 1 at JFK and a new platform for Uber's vision of aerial rideshare, those flying taxis potentially taking off from skyports like this. Community hubs where somebody might kind of fly in from an airport or from a suburb or from a distant, you know, school and connect with the local buses and subway systems and, and rideshare and micro mobility that's on the ground. Um, you know, leaving the car behind. The future of travel will also run on the rails. High-speed rail projects already underway from Florida to Texas and California. This country, you know, is coming to its senses and it's going to be, and will be building uh, high-speed rail routes in, in a dozen places across the country. Robert Yarrow is president of North Atlantic Rail Alliance. The plan? Create a $100 billion high-speed rail between New York and Boston. We could get New York to Boston in an hour and 40 minutes, so 100 minutes total. It's currently just under four hours, so it cuts travel time by more than 60%. So picture it. Boston to New York in the morning, an air taxi to the airport, scanned in by your face, guided to the gate by a robot, only to take off in a supersonic jet across the world before dinner. If you piece them together, you create this kind of future trip chain that's really exciting. A ticket to a new era in travel awaits. Dan Bowens, Fox 5 News. That would be fantastic. Yeah, Why bring it on. Boston at hour 40. Less time commuting. Yep. All right, let's check the weather now with Nick and enjoying the sunshine before things change this weekend. Yes, so we got a couple of days to do that because